Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amari. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert JSON file to CSV file in Azure Data Factory. So first of all, let's take a look on our uh, JSON file, how it looks like. Uh, here is my blob storage uh, on uh, Azure portal. And uh, let's go to the containers here. And one of the container is the uh, input. Uh, and that's where my JSON file is sitting. Uh, so it is called the customer.json. Uh, click on that. And now you're going to click Edit. And that's where our JSON file look like. Uh, we have a first name, last name, date of birth, and region. Same uh, nodes uh, or uh, values are written here for different customers. And uh, this uh, has uh, almost 100 records. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to create the CSV file uh, where we will have a first name, comma, last name, date of birth, and region. So it will have four columns. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have uh, JSON in the input folder, input container or folder. I'm going to go ahead and create a new container and we will call this uh, output so this is in our blob storage now we will go to the azure data factory here and uh, we are going to go ahead and create a new pipeline in the new pipeline we will uh, click here provide a name if you want so in this case we will call it a pl convert json looks good now what we are going to do we are going to bring uh, our favorite activity called the copy data activity and uh, here we are going to go to source uh, and this, in this source we will uh, create a new source data set. Uh, click new and uh, we are going to go to the Azure blob and uh, that's right there. So we selected that and now what we are going to do, we are going to select a JSON uh, right here. So that's our input file. Hit the continue and uh, now we can uh, call this uh, input or whatever you want to call. Create a link service uh, so it's going to be, you can go ahead and click, click new. Uh, and here uh, select your subscription and the storage account. Uh, so it is tech rather the storage. Uh, that's what our storage is. We are going to uh, test our connection and uh, now it should be all good. So this uh, link service can be used uh, for our source and destination because uh, this is the same link service uh, where our uh, uh, both uh, containers exist, uh, input and output. So I'm going to just uh, simply call this uh, Azure Blob Storage uh, for JSON. Okay, uh, hit uh, create. Now we are going to select, uh, this is our input data set. Uh, so we have to select the input file. Uh, go to the input folder and here is our customer.json file. And uh, we are all good here. And we are going to click on import schema here. So leave this everything as it is and hit OK. Now we will go to the sync. Uh, and in the sync, uh, we are going to create a new data set. Uh, we are going to go to the Azure blob storage. And uh, we are going to see, we want to create the delimited text file. So select that. And now in the, uh, we can call this uh, output or whatever name you want to give. Give some nice name always for your data sets. And the link service is going to be the same one as your blob storage for JSON. Because this is pointing to our storage, not to the container level. So then uh, we have opportunity to choose the container, whatever we want. So I'm going to click on browse, go to output and hit OK. Now here you can provide the file name. So I can say customer JSON output whatever I want to call it dot CSV or dot TXT. So you can provide the name right here. All good and the first row is going to have header. So I selected that and leave import from a connection store. Let's see what it does. Hit OK and now it is giving us some error. So I can do one more thing. I'm going to go and uh, click uh, none here and then uh, hit OK and we can come back. Now we go to mapping here and uh, in, instead of uh, uh, doing not mapping uh, in la last videos, we didn't even bother doing mapping. Here we are going to go ahead and import schemas and do mapping. So we are in the mapping and the import schemas. Now let's go back here and see what we have. Let me make some space here so you can see the entire thing. So see right here what we have. Uh, these are our uh, column, F name, last name, date of birth, region. These are all string here. And these are our uh, destination uh, type side. So this is first name, last name, date of birth, region. And uh, you can select uh, the data type. If you don't select, it is going to be OK. Um, it will run and it will execute. But in my case, uh, maybe uh, you know if you want to go ahead and say, I want to select string here and a string here. That's fine. And the select string here. So now 
and they hit string. So as I said, if you don't do that, still it's going to work. But uh, I just selected uh, these uh, column types here on the destination. If you want to remove some column, let's say you don't want to have first name, last name, you can always uncheck uh, and uh, then uh, it will remove. So you will have only required column uh, from the resource to the destination. Um, now hit the debug and it is going to execute uh, and read our JSON file and then uh, convert uh, or create a new file in the output uh, container that should be our CSV file. So it's taken some time here. Let's go and check our output. And here our output uh, file is created. I'm going to click on output file here, go to edit and uh, you can see right there. So we have a uh, first name, last name, date of birth and region. So if you remember, these were JSON data and now it is a co co uh, co uh, comma delimited data. So it is converted successfully to the uh, CSV file uh, and we have 100 records. Remember that I was telling you I have 100 records in the, that JSON file. So whatever the columns, whatever the values were there, now they are converted to the first column and then we have all those values. So this is how you will uh, convert uh, or uh, uh, read the data from JSON file and create a CSV file. So thank you very much for watching and I will uh, see you in next video.